I uh, really, really wanted a sensor that I could just plug into an Arduino that would do sound localization and couldn't find one. Well, lo and behold, it's more difficult than it, it seems. This sensor is purely a volume comparison. The volume coming in this mic is compared to this one, and the volume on the mic over here is compared to this one, so... Whenever the uh, volume is greater on one side, the comparator will trigger to turn this way or to turn this way. Hello! Hello! Hello, 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 I say, good, uh, hello, 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 hello. There are definitely things that uh, can be approved upon. I think that a lot of engineering could go into making an ear that actually works uh, properly. I had to bring this microphone and actually stick it outside of this box because when the servo turns the vibration of the box would mess up my... I'm sure maybe a bigger mic would have a little better gain but um, this is just a Radio Shack project box that comes with a black plastic lid and a metal li uh, aluminum lid and I used both of them. Servo and my microphones are just hot glued in there to mount the servo. I just drilled a hole and mounted the servo here. This this plate could be a little prettier. But. And then this is a standard fitting that comes with the servo. And uh, I made a little connector so I can just unplug and plug in the servo. Um, these wires that go to the microphone, it's a shielded wire that helps reduce the noise uh, that can get on your microphone line. The Arduino section is pretty simple. I am powering the servo. These wires go to my servo. And these other ones are microphones and they just uh, jump over to my sensor board. And my sensor board only sends these two back, this white and yellow. And one is turn, to turn left and one is to turn right. Now this board is a mess, so sorry that it's really confusing, but essentially I have three microphones coming in. One here, one here, the middle, left, and then right. So the microphones come in and there's a little circuit and a capacitor and then they go over to this chip. There's one, two, three of my op amps on this LM324 is being used as amplifiers. So the signal coming in is extremely tiny from the microphone. This circuit amplifies the signal. The signals come over here. And this 324 is uh, being used as a uh, comparator. So it's comparing the center microphone to the left or the center to the right. And if the, the right is louder than the center, it will flick on uh, one of these discretes coming here or the left. Here we can see the signal coming in from the microphone. It's very, very tiny. Now you can see the signal after it comes through my preamp. Uh, uh, <coughs> it's pretty sensitive even from over here. It, it works pretty well. I have my scope on the comparator now. Let's see when we go this way. 
one of my channels right trigger pretty much goes and if you go to the other side the other trigger will go so I actually don't think that uh, any sound localization sensor will be really all that good unless you're doing both a uh, calculation based on the volume of the sound that's that's hitting the sensors but also if you're doing a calculation of the phase shift so if the sound wave hits here first um, this sensor over here will have a little offset um, but that takes a lot more um, calculation power um, and Arduino is not fast enough to do it probably so my Arduino sketch is really simple. This is the whole Arduino sketch right here. We have to turn on the, the servo stuff. We include the servo library right here. So if it is, if the pin is telling it to turn right and it's greater than 10, it's going to go ahead and uh, reduce the value number by 2. The value number is what it's feeding to the servo. And then down here, if the left is equal to true, blah, 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 it increases by 2. Then you delay 15 milliseconds and do it again.